This video will discuss some special relationships that occur in triangles. So in triangles, there's a relationship between each of the sides and angles. So for example, the largest side is always opposite the largest angle. The smallest side is opposite the smallest angle. And then the medium side is across from the medium angle. So in our first example, it asks us to list the angles in order from largest to smallest. So how we want to start this is we want to look at our largest side, which is 7. Our largest side is going to be opposite our largest angle. So we would list R first. Our second largest side is 5. It is opposite the second largest angle, which is Q. And then lastly, our smallest side 3 is opposite the smallest angle, S. This example asks us to list the sides in order from largest to smallest. So we want to start with our largest angle, which is this 90 degrees. So opposite of that is this side here which is x, z. Our second largest angle is 50. Opposite of that is side x, y. And lastly, our smallest angle is 40. Opposite of that is side y, z. In this example, again, we're listing sides in order from largest to smallest, but we're missing an angle. So just as a reminder, triangle angle sum theorem states that all angles of a triangle have to add up to be 180 degrees. So if we add these two angles together, we get 111. 180 minus 111 is 69 degrees. So now, when I start with the largest angle, I'm looking at 71 degrees, which is across from the largest side, and that side would be named DF. The second largest angle is 69 degrees. Across from 69 is the second largest side, which is DE. And lastly, our smallest angle is 40 degrees. Across from 40 is side EF, and that's our smallest side. 